What is it? What can you tell me of the forest? There are raiders and vargs by day, trolls and undead by night. Avoid the trolls. Of what would you hear? Do you know of the blue icy flowers? Magical flowers never touch them. They are very cold. And when you touch them, you also become very cold, and that is unpleasant. I think sometimes birds or squirrels get frozen to the spot. I bid you farewell. Stars guide your path. Hello, hero lady. What brave warrior are you? I am Jaime Bolinson, warrior in training in the service of Yarl Elfman. I'm going to be a mighty dragon slayer. I am learning to fight really well. Got my own sword, too. Next year I go study tactics so I can be a big leader. What is Fonsictuna like? It is the best city in the world. The strong walls here can stand against any troll. Well, you and I can climb over it, but trolls are too dumb for that. We are ruled by Goodnow, and my father is his smith and supplier. Is that not great? What city could be better? Can you tell me of your father? My father is the best smith in Midgard. He works for Yal Ilfin and makes weapons for his soldiers. He is real strong, too, and he teaches me to use the sword. And what about your mother? My mother takes care of the Venturers Guild. She does not talk a lot, but she is really strong, too. How is your training going? You are a Venturer, are you not? My mother said you were venturing and staying at the Venturing Guild. I want to be a Venturer when I am bigger. They get to travel anywhere, and everybody likes them because they have courage and honor. That means they do the right thing. You must be nice to people and help them, even if you do not like them. And you cannot threaten folks just because you are stronger. And then you get to kill the dragon. Let us speak of the woodlands. It is a forest around Fon Sigtuna. It is full of wolves and trolls. So mother says I must not go too far from the city wall. There's lots of trees, of course, but there may be another village somewhere. There could even be Jabberwocks in the woods. Do you know of the blue icy flowers? The flowers are pretty, but Mother told me to never touch them. They are magical flowers. They are cold, deadly to animals. I usually walk by them early in the afternoon. It's a good spot for training my sword. Are the trolls dangerous? Trolls are big and strong, and they are very stupid. I am not afraid of trolls. When I grow up, I will go into the forest with my sword, and they shall call me Troll Slayer. Since you are a heroine, I'm sure you can slay trolls already. I hope you will make our forest safe again for all of us. So what is a Jabberwock? I have not seen that creature, but Mother told me it has jaws that bite and claws that catch. It has a fur that goes jub-jub. It is so cruel, cool, Tina, that you must be very willing to catch it in the bar goes. Is that a wooden sword? Yes, I have a real sword. I call it Blood Gang. My father has made a very magical sword and put it in a tree. I will put it for me when I am strong enough. But I need to train first. Good luck with your training. Come back soon and tell... My lady, the Jarl Ilfing wishes to speak to you in his castle. good to see you walking around again. Not many people can survive an avalanche like the one I found you. Tell me who you are. I am Volan, son of Arkvith, blacksmith of Fornsigtuna, and proven warrior to the Jarl. I live in the northeast part of the city, with my wife Hervor and our son Jaime. What can you tell me about the city? Fornsigtuna is the grandest city in this part of Midgard. It is the capital of Jan Vadir, and the major trade destination on Lake Ganvik. There is a village southeast of here, which is under protection of our Jarl, even though the inhabitants do not wish to be. What do you know about Hervor? Beautiful Hervor and I are happily married, and we have our son Jaime growing up to be a fine warrior. How is your son doing? I am very proud of Jaime. 
He is already shaping up to become a powerful warrior. It will not be long before he wields a true blade instead of a wooden one. I want to thank you for saving me. Think nothing of it. I would not have anyone freeze to death in the Fimble Winter. Where in the forest did you find me? The woods of Yonvadir surround us in all directions. I found you northeast of here, partly buried under an avalanche. You were lucky that your bright cloak stood out against the snow. There were tracks of a troll nearby. So if you are missing anything, it is likely the trolls have it. You had best be careful when traveling. In the Fimble Winter, there are fierce wolves and trolls about, and all of them hungry. Still, you look like someone who can take care of herself. Let us speak later. May your blade always be keen. How can I help you? Why does the Jarl want to see me? You are the only traveler who has passed here recently, and I'm told he is expecting you. What is Jarl Ilfing like? He is a fair ruler. He has kept our fine city safe for several decades. Although his hair be gray, he can still best most of us in battle. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. How can I help you? Thank you for your time. You're welcome. You may enter the audience room of Jarl Ilfing. you welcome to Fornsic Tuna. Arise, traveler. Yes, my lord. I am Ilvin, third of that name, Jarl of Fornsic Tuna, and warden of Jan Vidir. At my side is Orvandel, sage of the Northern Lights and keeper of the rites. At your service, which I hope is serviceable. What is your name? to become a hero. That is precisely why we have called you. Of late, Hornsic Tuna is troubled. The winter has been far longer and colder than normal, and the city is running out of food and supplies. The woods of Jan Vidir around us are becoming dangerous. Wolves, trolls, and undead are on the prowl. And there have been sightings of giants. The people are starting to call this the Fimbiel Winter which is prophesied to last until the world ends. However, we fear the cold may be magical in origin. I have used my magic to seek out where the source of the winter is coming from. It appears that a powerful spellcaster seems to be behind this winter's origin. But this spellcaster is casting spells to shield himself from my seeking. Which is why my seeking spell cannot find this shielded spellcaster. Therefore, we decided to find an ally of courage and skill to investigate our problems, and to aid us against the trolls, ere we all freeze of winter. And so, we ask for your aid. When I heard of your arrival yesterday, I told my guards to send you here first thing in the morning. Will you accept this charge? Very good. I am told you are staying at the Adventurer's Guildhouse. You may reside there for as long as you need. 
I shall have some rations delivered there, although the city has little food to spare. However, I do not think a true adventurer would have trouble finding food. As a magical preparation, I have prepared a magic scroll with the magic of the Fatiath Blessing, which shall serve as a map of your travels and map them magically. Thank you. Will this map also allow me to teleport to other places? No, it is not that powerful. You are a traveling heroine, so you should expect to do some traveling, so you can do heroic deeds while you travel. However, the map will tell you where to go, so that you can go where the map tells you to. That will be all. We wish you safe travels, and hope to speak to you later when you have something important to report. Yes, my lord. Greetings again, traveler. As it is not the first time that I greet you, I am sure we are both busy people. If you have pressing matters, I am not too busy to discuss those with you again. How may I be of assistance on this Thor's day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? I read that you are in need of herbs. Being a somewhat skilled alchemist, I employ my alchemy to brew potions to restore my magical power, or mana. These potions are known as mana potions, and are both potable and potent. However, I find I am lacking a particular ingredient, which I currently lack, and which is a necessary ingredient for my potable potions of magical mana. This ingredient is known as Artemisia vulgaris, or more commonly known as mugwort. If you know this ingredient, please locate me a suitable supply, so that I can use this to supply my alchemy with ingredients. What is Fonsigtuna like? Fonsigtuna is the city that we live in, which is called Fonsigtuna. It contains numerous houses in which people live, as well as the castle where the Jarl of Fonsigtuna lives. The Jarl, who lives in the castle, is named Ilfing, and I am in the service of Jarl Ilfing of Fonsigtuna. Jarl Ilfing is the Jarl of this city, and is a descendant of the clan Ilfing, who have traditionally ruled Fonsigtuna as its Jarl. There are numerous people in this city about which I could spread gossip, but since doing so would be spreading gossip, I choose not to share information with you about the numerous people in this city, lest I become known as a gossip. Please tell me about yourself. I am Orvindel, Sage of the Northern Knights and Keeper of the Rites, and occasionally Keeper of the Northern Knights and Sage of the Rites, but only on occasion. Aside from keeping rights, I use my sage advice to advise Jarl Ilfing about ritual matters. And when it matters to be sagacious, I aim to do the right thing. I wish you good health. It is time that I return to my duties, because I am dutiful and I have a duty to return to. I'm sure you can return later, and I will make it my duty to return speaking to you when you return.
Gracias. Por... I would like to buy some of your wares. Meet me in my workshop, and I shall show you my craft. Let us... May your blade always... born what do you call yourself I am an aspirant heroine a worthy goal will you reach it or will you die trying or people's dwellings we three descend of Muktosir's maidens laws we made there and life allotted to the sons of man and set their fates while Bralan's towns were trembling all, there the golden threads of fate we wove, and in a moon's hall fast we made them. We are the Norns, I am Earth, who sees the past. I am Verthandi, who watches the present. I am Skold, who guards the future. Speak now, mortal. Talk, you who seeks heroism. Ask and glimpse your fate. Why have I been called here? You have the makings of a heroine, and with time, you may prove yourself worthy of that title. Already you have seen a vision of a man imperiled. More shall follow so that you can come to their aid. It was such a vision that led you here, where fate needs you. The sorcerer Aruvando was but a focus. What endangers this realm? Ages ago, the gods of Asgard, led by Odin Thunderer, fought the Frost Giants and drove them off to Jotunheim. Many of the giants made peace with the Aesir gods and accepted their defeat. Others sharpened their axes and seek revenge. One of their number traveled to Asgard in peace and became friend of Thor the Terrible and blood brother to Odin One-Eye. His name was Loki the Crafty. But Loki Lalfason was a trickster and played his pranks recklessly. He cut off the golden hair of Thor's wife, Sif, and had the goddess Idun kidnapped by the giant Thiassi. When Loki's machinations caused the death of Odin's son, Baldur, the wise Odin was enraged. He took Loki, forger of evil, to the darkest depths of Svartalfheim and bound him there for the ages. And there he lies still, bound by the entrails of his son endlessly tortured by a venomous snake. The wrath of Odin the Hooded is a terrible thing. But other giants still roam the world who have sworn revenge on the gods. One of them lives in the woods of Yansir. His name is Ekther the Jotun. He has caused the great thimble winter that ravages the land. He seeks to free Loki the Bound and requires the eyes of Thiassi to do so. Should Egther succeed, then Loki Wolfsfather shall lead the giants into direct war with the gods, which can only have one outcome. Ragnarok. Twilight of the gods. The end of the world. Where lies my fate? As a warrior, you walk the path of Thor, who rides alone. Through your courage and swordsmanship, you can always prevail. Your journeys will take you to the village of Moonavagir, and from there, to other worlds, until you return to Yarnvidir to face Ekther in valiant battle. Act with honor, and the mighty blade Balmung shall be yours. 
prevail, and your soul shall be cast to the endless mists of Niflheim. Who will win the 2014 Olympics? Do not mock us, little mortal. The fate of the Nine Worlds hangs in the balance. However, the Dutch will win three gold medals. I thank you, O Norns. Safe travels, heroine of spirit. Seek out the Valkyrie Brynhild for advice. She lies bound in Yarnvidir. We shall meet again. You're the one the Jarl sent for. I would think that stopping the Thimble Winter is a man's job. Tell me who you are. I am dismayed to learn that my reputation does not precede me. The name is Snorri. I'm a loyal clansman to Ilfa, captain of the guard, and connoisseur extraordinaire of fine drinks. And since you seem to be the adventuring type, perhaps I even have a task for you. A quest, if you will. And what is that? Ah, so nice of you to ask. You see, a gemstone that belonged to my father has gone missing. It is an heirloom of sorts, and I am greatly attached to it. I would highly appreciate it if you could recover it for me. I shall see what I can do. What can you tell me about the city? The shining star of Yandere. Just look around you and admire its build and its history. Although it is getting short of food right now. You could surely use one of Thor Giant Slayer's magical goats that can be eaten each evening Go back during the night. Is there someone in particular you would know about? Tell me of Voland the Smith. Voland Arthurson is a good man, and the weaponsmith for Fonsictuna. He lives in the east part of town with his wife and son. What do you know about Hervor? Their Hervor runs the guild house and takes care of all the eager young would-be adventurers we get here. She is not from Fonsictuna. Volan the blacksmith brought her here when they married. Do not be fooled by that frail figure of hers. I've seen her break a man's arm before. Surely you have met Jaime. Little Jaime is the child of Voland and Herbal. He wants to be a mighty warrior someday. Just like, well, me. I've given him a practice sword and he works out with it daily. I think he even wanders around at night looking for things to guard. Do you know the wizard Orvindel? He is a wizard in the service of Jarl Ilfing. Or possibly he is the true power in these lands who tolerates Ilfing for his own amusement. It is hard to tell who it is. But his enchantments have proven useful in defending our town. He has made the locks in the castle dungeon truly impervious to thieves. Such people are good to have around. What do you think about the Jarl? I am a sworn vassal of Jarl Ilfing, protector of Fonsic Tuna. He lives in the keep at the north side of town. Let us speak of the woodlands. If you wish to hear about Yarnvidir, you've come to the right person. As captain of the guard, I hear all the soldiers' tales. Are the trolls dangerous? Frankly, yes. To all but the most experienced warriors. Their most powerful blow is easy to dodge, because you can see it coming from a mile away. But whenever they block something, they tend to be quick to make a counterattack that you should be ready for. Since their wounds have a tendency to close while they're fighting, your best bet is a heavy weapon that makes big gashes, like a battle axe. Let us speak later. You should stay here with us. Pretending to be a hero is just going to get you killed. 